baby This evening, we have with us the musician, the poet, the humanitarian, the award-winning hip-hop artist. We have King Kaka in studio today, and above all, he is an amazing entrepreneur. He is the man who has shown us that no matter what part of music you check in from, you can make so much more out of it. And he has done projects like the Blaze Project. He has his own humanitarian projects that he runs that he'll be telling us about today. And he'll be telling you who wants to be in the league that he is in today, how to get there. Welcome to studio how'd i do cool <laughs> king kaka is in such a great mood because yeah, he told man. me that he's giving us money Life because he made good. so much money today <laughs> <laughs> now i'm just excited mm. the fact that kuna wasilewa kuamuka yani yeah you know the first thing ni kiamkanga subui that's the first thing i tell myself yeah right. i'm alive Who's, i'm alive yeah, it's always should, a great should, thing. Yeah, people should, take that for granted yeah, a lot. People take that for yeah. granted. So when you come, you say, "Ah man, Monday." No, when you come, you say, "Nah man, I'm alive." Um, uh, for sure, for but, sure. Yeah, I mean, and you know, attitude but, is very important. <laughs> 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 you should see the smile on King Kaka's face. First of all, because he's shared platforms with um, about to uh, uh, Bill Gates, um, uh, Bill and Gates and Sharon. Uh-huh. What's, What's up, Sharon? Tell us about the Gates Sheeran. Foundation. Yeah, actually, um, and what you're doing. I started a project uh, a while back. Um, I was ambitious because I'm a, I'm, I saw a case about a girl and by Akwaneza Kwenda Shule because Akwaneza for a sanitary tower. And uh, it was really sad. Alkwana Kalia Sand. So during the immenses, Wana Kalia Sand. In this modern day, yani, yeah. technology and this road, nanini, nanini. and I said, I mean, even when I say over 400,000 and you follow on Instagram, and in and in, I have a million followers, and in and impressions and all that. What can I do? Mm. Well, so I said, uh, let me start a campaign. And you got, you can start the King Kaka Sanitary Bank campaign. Where my target, I was ambitious. I said, mm. 100,000 girls in 12 months. Let Will me start. Uh, so yeah. actually the first two trips that we went to, I, I took part of my gig money. Nikasema, we went to Makui Primary and we called two neighboring schools, Wakakampa Moja. I bought sanitary towels with my great team to distribute. We did training for them. Some of them, sadly, were going on the sanitary towels for the first time. Wow. Oh so you also God. had to train we them did, how to Yeah, we wear, did training. Because yeah. uh, most parents were going to say, do we buy those things or do we buy food? Those things, yeah. mm-hmm. they don't even care. They don't see the importance. Yeah, they don't see it. the importance, yeah. So, I, me, my, 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 my thought process is not even at the party. Yeah, that, that's a point of conversation. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, now that they're in class, eh, what does it mean for them to go So, I, I'm, I'm really pushing because even we have registers to more pair to na semaniaje. Now that e term will be a grade, eh, to make sure uko shule or right. miss shule. We want you guys to get this particular grade this coming term. Because uh, we are trying to set up also a scholarship fund for them. So as we speak, the Misha fixed 10,000 girls. Oh, wow. fantastic. Yo, Papa, bravo. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So 10,000 girls. To Menda Lamu, Thika, uh, Machakos, Kitale. Our next visit is in Mandera. Good job. I'm really wow. excited. Yeah. What is the long term plan? To make sure that these girls always have sanitary towels. You know how in advanced Sustainability, countries, yeah, yeah, you've traveled a lot. So yeah. you've seen how in most countries, things like sanitary towels are provided for in public yeah. toilets, yes. in any public institution. Right. Yes. If you walk there, you'll find um, a vending machine, which which is free of charge. And you just basically, withdraw, yeah, yeah, it's like yeah. you're withdrawing sanitary towels. Yet we're in a situation where, de- despite where we are now, like you've said, people have to sit on sand in order to go through their menses. Their menses and that happens every month for at least your for at least 40 years yeah, which is absolutely yeah. sad and most people don't see the importance of it so how are we gonna uh, or what's the plan to make this a sustainable way of girls getting sanitary towels so year in year out we don't have a situation where now a different group of girls who now true, come into the menstrual period true. don't have right. these towels uh, we're we trying to form uh, forge a partnership with the government because we know they have their intent uh, yeah. So we know the distribution hasn't been efficient, but they have that intention. So yeah. we've had a couple of meetings with the Ministry of Health mm-hmm. uh, already. Because th- what I'm doing right now, I'm building a structure. And you, they'll just come and plug in. 
Au tasumbuka kwa sababu working with youth groups and women groups in every community that we go to. So I don't come foot soldiers wetu. So if you have any communication we send to the youth groups I want to talk to the to the, mm-hmm. to the girls and the boys in school. Uh, so now that we have a structure in place eh, and that's the reason why also even the visits are very strategic. Ndaenda Nyanza our next visit is in Mandera to Kapu to Turkana and in Nyanza Kakamega so that we see we have created a web around the country and we know different areas work on a different patterns now and I react to this exactly. and this differently so now we come and tell the government this is the report that we've built f- for a year mm. while we are distributing to to the 100,000 girls mm. so w- why you guys have the resources eh na mmekomezeka kwa budget for sustainability put it in this working because about this uh, the, my my program is not just distributing mindset we want to change the mindset ya exactly. yeah, tuambieniaje mm-hmm. vile mkosha go kwa sababu our target also is uko interior kabisa mm-hmm. where we tunaonyesha sanitary towers and asking time, yeah. is ni nini yeah. you get because wameshazoea kukalia sand mm-hmm. uh, uh, cow dung Oh, wow. to me old drugs okay, uh, you can al- because you also look at that and it's like even um health wise it's not it's, good. Not, it's, yeah. it's not sanitary yeah. at all it's not absolutely yeah. not because that's one of the times when in any woman's life you're the most susceptible to getting all sorts of infections true so if you're in that situation and you're sitting on cow dung i mean come on and oh. not even that honestly you're in somewhere like oh, i don't even know like mandera where it's yeah. so hot yeah and You're, and, and you know, it's a full day affair. It's yeah. not exactly. something it's, it's not like you get your period from yeah. sun up so at from bad. 12 to at 1 o'clock. You can time it, yeah. No, from sun up to sundown, yeah. Yeah. you're at it. And the sad bit ni kwamba there's a special hut we may create. Oh, na no. udema na kapo. Afai ku mingle na anyone. Mm. So I imagine that whole week what's the going on through my mind. It. Yeah. 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 yeah, it's so bad. It becomes something which no teenager looks forward to it, and it can be very traumatizing in the long run as well. Yeah. Okay, so then what other challenges have you faced so far because you're meeting communities like you've said where you have to change the mindset yes. of how they think. Yes. There's a girl who's been put in a hut and yeah. you're trying to convince this girl's Now parent there's a, there's a, that, yeah, that there's, there's an actually a sanitary way, way of yeah, doing this yeah. and this is this is something normal. It happens to all teenagers around this age. Yes. How how have you gone about changing that mindset? Uh basically start working with the with the parents, the community first and just let them know there are new ways and easier ways of dealing with this. Mm-hmm. And it to ensure kwamba girls are in school. Um they already feel like education some of those communities feel like education isn't even important. So if you're telling them for her, for her to go to school then we have a solution for it but, but keep, they already don't think school but is keep important. in mind eh, mm-hmm. keep in mind even if they they go to school in a manner the parents our fee, our see the value mm-hmm. wana sema either kako hard or go to school inge kwa wa kuna alternative ya kuambia they may end shule then they would definitely point her to, to the school yeah. so now sisi tunakuja tunambia the parent it's fine si lazima kalie hii sand this mm-hmm. whole week ataenda shule imagine tutakutoleo burden ya yuko ka home mm, yeah. uh, so this is the sanitary towers so now we dem akiwa class we tell her this is how powerful this class is mm. so ukisoma nini nini come and educate your economy come and change the status mm-hmm. so we are, we are also very uh, much into the uh, advocacy stage akwambia uh, while we are trying to do all this for you come and, come back and do this for your community so as a man how is it you overlooked the taboo that comes with the period and the comes with pads and decided you're the one who's going to do this i think um, just me witnessing the girl eh? um, i said uh, even if i narrate it to 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 other people i mean the feeling i had um, initially just seeing the girl she has explained to people and ela mina nika when 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 you're feeling pain i always explain him say yeah atuna you wanna feel na feel pain msada kwambe pole jo sindio yeah and I, i i it will not go away it's the same feeling i had so i said i mean na influence yangu yote ndio i'm doing concerts i'll do a hit song in the chart shuke mela i'll tour around the country but what am i doing for my my people yani for my fans but also i'm not even doing it at the na i do sababu nataka wao dema ende chuo yani that situation is 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 not good aina jingine it's just not good i mean other than doing such great things um for people in the country you are making major moves 
uh, especially like brand association right now is a big deal. <laughs> you know, if, especially if you are associated uh, with a French <laughs> brand. Yes. <laughs> all the way from Cognac. And the reason why Cognacs are called Cognacs is because Remy, uh, what is K- King Kaka would know better is because they're made in. Cognac. Exactly. Fonte. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure only Pele Kwa class. Yeah, Remy Manze, Martin. This is how Anyway, class, yeah. <laughs> this King is how you is your is mm-hmm. uh, Monsieur. Monsieur. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, when you want to. Okay, let's say, 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 let's but King Kaka, you're yeah, now man. working with uh, yeah, Remy Martin. With you're Remy the Martin. face brand ambassador. The first in East Africa. Woo-hoo! I'm telling you. Yo, How yo, is yo. that for you? It's a win not only for me, mm-hmm. for for the Kenyan industry. Yeah, because you've, you open doors yeah. for so many other Who um, ever artists. Yes. Uh, Sabu, I think let's look at it pia widely. In a manishaini brand of France, you eh? recognize an artist in Kenya. Yeah. Mela, mm-hmm. menda abroad kufanya the TVC. Mm-hmm. Kama uja yuwache na YouTube wane. <laughs> eh, kwanza we are posting the link right, right now. now. Yes, on bana. Kwa ni nini, wana get. Eh? Mwone king kanka na remi eh. mati miyake. Ndi na drop up kwa ofisi yetu wen. Nda kuletea. Uh, lakini si usikunyo sali uko job. Uh, no, 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 no. We drink responsibly here. Good, good. That's Before what I wanted to point out. Before the show and after the show. Yeah. But, oh, but, but the, the, the whole idea of, of why they named me is because... Like we've just stated, eh? I have so many slashes to my name, mm-hmm. um, and they say they have this campaign in it where you have one life, live, live them. Yeah. Mela, yeah. mm-hmm. so I- in the beginning, in Ilikwanga, like guys were telling me, man, you wanna do it tomorrow, man, so tulia, tulia. But then Remy Martin, he came in and said, yo, it's fine. <laughs> live you them have all. your one life, live them, my friend. Love is like a well. Why are you so yeah. excited to be part of such a brand? I mean, uh, it means one, I'm a big brand. Because I always to me, I'm going to go. Oh, I'm going to get it. And then, uh, and then mini boy, I'm going to go. Right. Uh, I'm representing a, a, a big cognac brand, a uh, worldwide brand. I'm going to go. See, I did what I did. I did what I did. You're not throwing shade. No, no, I'm not throwing <laughs> shade. See, 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 it is what it is. Uh-huh. <laughs> anyway, but uh, it, it means a lot uh, for my career as well. So, I your motivation uh, is important. And now I represent, and I'm telling most young people who are trying to find themselves. Mm-hmm. It's fine. Uh, if you have, if you think you have multiple things that you can do, do them. Embrace right. them. You can coexist within yourself. Right. So clearly, you're making. Would you say you're now a millionaire, p- or even past? <laughs> because, <laughs> you know, <laughs> because um, there's some single, there's some single women <laughs> looking <laughs> for <laughs> look, looking looking Wait, for. Wait, <laughs> Martin? <laughs> no, any no. I'm, I'm joking. Yes. However. <laughs> Back no. to Remy Martin. Yes. I want to know what mm. um, what projects do you have to undertake under this position? Because exactly. everybody That's normally I says, I yeah. want to be the brand ambassador of A, B, C, D. Yes. And they don't realize that there's actually work that you do. Because you have to do dunia drinking responsibly. So, <laughs> so tell us, what are some of these projects that you're doing? The, the How often can you travel with your favorite radio presenters? Like s- such okay, like things. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah. Get you. <laughs> <laughs> so... The, the beauty about this project is uh, they named me one and then two um, we, we want to give it um, keep it as authentic as possible mm-hmm. so they're telling me uh, whatever you, you you've been doing inspiring um, the generation mm-hmm. continue with it mm-hmm. that's what we want you to do but now it's just branded ah. just co- continue what you're doing but now it's just branded again this proves that it's okay. Uh, let nobody tell you that it's wrong. Because right. if you something wrong, you know when your kids are going to scary, you know it's bad. Yeah. I'm not scary, I'm not going to feel bad. But if it's something good, you're going to do it. True or false? That's very yeah. true.